Well, first of all, we're not going to say all women. We're not going to say all men. First of all, a lot of us, a lot of the good brothers don't have children. I don't be seeing no niggas walking around with their kids all day long. Not like I be seeing these women. No cap. Okay. Who did y'all pick though? Y'all huh? pick them. Y'all pick them. No, some of y'all picked us. Look again. You willing to travel to go find you some motherfucking body. Some of us have already been picked. You see what I'm saying? Just because you didn't pick me don't mean I wasn't picked. Right, but no, no, no. But what I'm saying is, Damn. did you not? And you said I was angry. No, I'm just saying because you got to make it make sense on both ends. But you can't I'm do all the, you can't do all the bashing and then you know I'm say, well, you know, I could go to another country and go find a new girl and start over, and you know, I could find somebody that want to pick rice with me. Nigga, it was somebody Shaniqua was willing to pick rice with you too. But what the hell did you do to her? Y'all not I, gonna say everything that y'all did or what damage or inflictions y'all may have had upon people. I, I will. I will. First okay, well, I again, understand. well, make no, some type Mike. of mention or reference, but to say nothing is crazy. Hey, Mike, I'm going to tag you in, but let me say this. I'm going to say this. I'll tell you exactly what I did. I got picked second, third, and fourth after they wanted Big Dick John and Long Dick Tyrone because they was thug and tough. And now after thug Let's and tough that. fucked their life up, now they want to come to me. Now, this I'm speaking on my personal story. A lot of guys, a lot of guys, I'm going to say this. There are a lot of good men. The passport bro, let's let's say the passport bros. The passport bros got crapped on so hard. But if you look at the passport bros, it was a lot of the men that a lot of women didn't want. So what the men did was go and be celebrated somewhere else. That's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the dudes that actually was like, hey, Hey, excuse me, miss you too nice, you too this. And let's keep it real. Women say this, you're too nice, you're good to be a friend. So guess what? And this is common, this is common sense, common knowledge. Go, people go where they're celebrated, not where they're tolerated. So if Western women across the US of A have said to good dudes, maybe even corny dudes, or dudes they consider corny, not saying they're corny dudes, but dudes they consider corny because they're not tough enough, said, hey, we don't want you. I'm not going to stay nowhere where I'm not wanted. I'm going to go to Miss Honduran, Miss Venezuelan. Who Ms. basically Honduran. just want to use you. They're not in love with you. they they in love with what they think you can bring to them. Again, they're trying to build some shit too, you know. That's you true. Don't think but that's usury? But it, I, I didn't say it wasn't, but I'm going to say It's not about, about the usury part. It's, it's about it is because it, So again, so what's the difference between prostitution and usury? The it's a difference is, between prostitution and usury. We already know what we're doing up front when it comes down to prostitution. The thing about it is, what I'm gonna speak, I'm generally speaking right now. I ain't saying you and everybody else, but most of these black women that come at you got to be able to handle me. First of all, I handle the fucking world I deal with every fucking day. I don't need y'all find them women at Detroit, Michigan, Southfield, Redford, <laughs> fucking Dearborn Heights. We right. travel outside of Michigan, Rose then Hill. Jesus. We oh, are. Are you condemning us for? We got I don't care. You don't got to go Chicago. out the damn country to go find a goddamn foreigner. That's all I'm saying. Because I'm we, saying we, that we it's tired, still we, good. We tired of the bitching. That's yeah. what it comes down to. We tired of the bitching. We tired of complaining. We tired of like you know what I'm saying. We got to argue every fucking day. I'm trying to make a point. I'm trying to be calm. But nah, this, 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 this. I'm like, what the fuck? Why I gotta get deal with this bullshit? I'm like, goddamn. I go to work every fucking day. I come home. I try to do what I gotta do to try to make things happen. Well, you ain't doing enough on Instagram, on TikTok, on Love and Hip Hop. They got this. They buying this. They buying that. You older than this. You should you, be able to you, have you this. You just gotta change who you dating though. I Honestly, because your your stuff is like, oh yeah, you on you need to be on VH1. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real talk, real talk. <sighs> We're not going personal. We're not going personal. I'm just generalizing, generally speaking, and I'm speaking from a lot. I ain't speaking yeah. from my person. I'm a very calm person. You personally know me. Yes. I'm a very calm person, but I'm speaking from the conversation that I had with brothers and sisters. I'm oh, don't don't get me wrong. I'm finna go in on these Negroes in a minute. Trust and believe me. We're gonna have to get these women out the first out the way first because I was born a man. I'm gonna die a man and never gonna sleep with a man. So I gotta get that out the way first. Then well fuck it. We here now. Look here. Some of these whole ass niggas just like to go raw up and everything. That's why half the city got herpes and claps and gonorrhea, syphilis, VD, I know. all kinds of shit. I y'all saw the reports on that. Oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm going in on everybody. You know, you want something to drink? 
you want to share a beer with me? Fuck no. You niggas don't even brush your fucking teeth, but you eating oh, oh, ass yeah. all the fucking time. You got plaque around your fucking teeth. You was a disgusting uh-huh. son of a bitch. But guess what? Old girl still allow you to lick on that motherfucker because she was feeling ah. it. Get the fuck out of here. You was yeah. a dumb bitch and he's a nasty nigga. First of all, you niggas is fucking disgusting. Oh, I smell like Kush. I smell good. No, nigga, you smell like Kush and must. You was a funky, dirty motherfucker. <laughs> Guess what? You need a nust- another dusty, dirty, funky motherfucking bitch to fuck with. Then second of all, you go spend your tax refund to go buy you a brand new car. Bitch, you ain't got insurance. You get your tax refund in March. You Your car gets into an accident in April. You fucked up until fucking December. Babe, let me get your taxes so I can come up. Nigga, you go through this same cycle every fucking year. You never come up. How come you always be in second place, third place? You never the fucking man. You the man standing next to the man that want to be the fucking man. You not a fucking man. Half these Negroes out here don't even know how to be a man. Then he got a woman complaining, bitch in his ear. You ain't manning up. Bitch, you ain't never seen. Your daddy wasn't home, so how do you know what a real man looks like? Let's be honest about that shit. 